welcome my beautiful star seeds light workers light barriers soul family and friends and so welcome so before we get started with the reading i always do a mini meditation so of course i'm going to invoke my higher self innate um, the universe the holy spirit uh, of course mother gaia to be here my archangels angels fairies and last but not least my ancestors so I will do a little clearing here. All you need to do is take a deep breath in and release. And I will do a clearing for you. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. And now I'm going to take two seconds here to, for all of you to feel my love towards all of you out there. I'm sending you love, light, and also, of course, my mother as well, uh, sending you healing and blessings to all of you. Remember that she will keep praying for you three times a day and on the collective as well. If there's any messages that you want to leave my mom, just go ahead and leave them in the comments below because I will read them to her uh, as, she, as at any time and chance that I have. So again, uh, I want to thank all of you for being here. Thank you for, you know, for this beautiful spiritual journey that we've been going through together. I'm so all like so grateful for all of you here. Yes, sometimes I get tongue tied. I'm sorry, but um, you're gonna feel my heart to you. How much I love you all, and I thank all of you for being here. And let's get started with your readings. I'll be right back. Hi Pisces and welcome to your weekly reading. So um, <clears throat> because I had taken two weeks off, uh, when I came back came back on YouTube, I came into the wrong week because <laughs> uh, I'm, a, I'm a week behind. So what I'm gonna be doing for the next week or so is that you're gonna have two readings. Okay, so this is gonna be a week, uh, two, uh, a bi-weekly reading. So I will <clears throat> look at from uh, August 23rd to the 29th of 2021 and then part two of the reading will be from uh august uh, uh august 30th to september 5th of 2021 and after that the week after will be in the right <laughs> schedule okay so uh, remember you're gonna have two uh two readings in this part i hope that you're all doing well pisces i really missed you all i'm so excited to do your readings and um, I also look very much forward into your messages of your that you send me every week here. Okay, so now we're going to get started <clears throat> with the readings right away. Okay, uh, so this reading is from uh, August 23rd to the 29th of 2021. And this is for Pisces Sun. And anywhere that you have Pisces in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. And also, <clears throat> if it resonates, claim it. But if it doesn't, then look at your other signs, which is your rising. Uh, <clears throat> look at your rising. Look at the moon, which is emotions. Venus is about love and finances. And of course, your north node is about your uh, soul path or your purpose. In the reading, how I'm going to do this for you, Pisces, okay, is that I'm going to do the recent past, the uh, current energy, and the immediate future. I'm also going to show you what's hidden from you and the possible outcome. And then I will clarify the cards in which Spirit wants me to clarify for you. So let's get started with your reading. 
This is from August 23rd, Pisces, to the 29th, 2021. Overall energy you've been manifesting. So there's a lot of, uh, this is about you rising above uh, all the energies uh, and also uh, focusing, up, affirming and knowing what you want. And you have all the elements here to get all your dreams come true. So you're aiming higher. In the recent past, you got the Page of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter is here with the Ten of Swords reversed. There was definitely something karmic that you had released, okay, or have been releasing for a long time. And I, I feel like you recovered from this. With the Page of Wands, okay, there's something coming in divine timing. This is from the recent past till now. It could have been something very passionate. It could have been a, a person you met. It could have been a type of project you're working on. Whatever it is, you've been seeing the, the signs. You've been feeling it. And there's positive news that's coming about. And Jupiter is here to tell you, hey, you know what? Well, the second chance is taking place here in your life. There's new opportunities that are coming in. The wheel is turning in your favor. Something here is destined and fated to come your way. And there's a lot of luck around this. And I see this happening even now for some of you, okay? In the current energy, you've got the Knight of Cups. You've got the Hangman reversed with the Seven of Wands upright. You overcame a lot here in the situation. There's some type of uh, stagnancy in your life. Uh, maybe with a person that you know, okay, maybe this is you, um, or maybe this is about relationships in all, in like in everything together. Uh, and Spirit saying is that you're going to overcome this. You already overcome this. Maybe some of you are not feeling that way, but it shows here that with the seven of wands that you are going to overcome this. With the hangman reverse, there's a, there's a, there's surrendering that's taking place. And some of you in the moment, present moment, you're going through a spiritual awakening. Some of you are remembering who you are and what type of gifts that are coming towards you, because there's going to be a lot of clarity around you. I also see a person coming in wanting to show love to you, or this is you wanting to show love to others as well. In the immediate future, you got the Hierophant, the King of Wands, and the Five of Swords. There's definitely, uh, right now, I do have a Taurus here, okay, uh, as a sign. I do also have Scorpio and Gemini. Uh, so there could be, this is about higher learning, higher purpose, okay, for some of you, and uh, uh, like uh, reaching uh, reaching higher, aiming higher, like almost like something is limitless for you, okay? For those of you, this could be also a marriage that's here. I do see the King of Wands, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. It doesn't have to be that sign, but I do see someone here going after what they want, okay? This is someone here that is determined and focused. With the Five of Swords energy, um, I feel that there's still, there's people around you that uh, do not have your back, Pisces. Uh, there could be lies or deceit, but we're going to check this card out afterwards. And what's hidden from you, you got the death card, Scorpio energy. So there's a huge ending and uh, new begin ending and new beginning that's taking place. There's a huge transformation that you're going through. And uh, this could take place till, uh, I would say, November of 2021. And in the possible future, you got the lovers, which is a Gemini energy. It doesn't have to be a Gemini. This could be a, a special connection that's coming in here for you. It could be a lover, a friend. It could be anybody here. But there is a decision that has to be made, okay? So now we're going to clarify the cards for you.
Okay, so let's look at uh, the overall energy with the Magician card. You got the Hangman, the Five of Cups, and the Six of Cups. You are releasing a lot at this time. You're rising above the emotion, uh, the emotions of what you're feeling, maybe on the collective Pisces. Okay, maybe you're feeling, maybe some of the emotions are not even yours. Some of the feelings are not even yours because all of you sometimes may absorb other people's energies around you. Okay, or there's something that's been very stagnant in your life. Uh, you know, something that's in the loop in, in, a, in a situation here. With the Five of Cups energy, someone here is still releasing their hurt, the pain, the, the resentment, and trying to find a silver lining to what took place here in a situation where you were feeling like in the loop of it, okay? And it's about em releasing emotions of the past here. But with the magician that's next to it, I feel a lot of you are rising above this, okay? You're rising above this this type of energy, okay? You're like, um, you're... you're um, your vibrations uh, and your frequency and your quantum energy. Some of you are really like pulling your way up, okay? And really trusting and have faith uh, in, in the energy of God, creator, universe here. And you are aiming for what you want. So you're raising above, rising above that type of energy. Okay, so now let's look at the page of wands. Okay, let's look at the page of wands here. Okay, and the wheel of fortune. Okay, now what they're showing me here is that definitely something in the past took place for you that was very karmic and everybody goes through karmic stuff, okay? You released a lot of people that did not have your back with the Five of Swords reversed. Okay, so people that didn't have your back um, uh, uh, could be lies or deceit. This could be also the way you're thinking, okay? There was something definitely that was unstable, whether it was finances or a, or a relationship in your life, whatever, you know, just remember to feel free to swap the energies around if this is you or if whatever, whoever you're dealing with, okay? So, so definitely something was unstable. And what they're showing me is that, uh, you know, something got dropped here, okay? Something got dropped. Someone here is focusing on oneself. Maybe, uh, you know, you were dealing with a Virgo energy or this is you in the month of um, September, of uh, 2020 that you decide to take time out and to focus on yourself you decide to follow your own path uh, you were reflecting a lot you were probably meditating a lot but you were taking care of oneself so something did take place for this to take uh, uh, karmically to take place where the page of wands is coming in with uh like i said uh divine timing and with the wheel of fortune i'm going to take out an extra card here for the wheel of fortune There is going to be celebration around this situation. There's going to be celebration. There's going to be victory. There's going to be success. Okay. Uh, uh, with this page of wands and the wheel of fortune. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is about you being recognized, reward, rewarded or recognized in a situation. It's about celebration with your friends, with your family. And uh, maybe you are this queen of swords in the recent past. Okay. So you are thinking about things very logically at this time. And, or you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. It could be someone else, but, or this is you that you're thinking logically about everything. Okay. So logic over the heart energy, uh, able to communicate and uh, you are able to cut people out if you have to from your life. Now let's look at the current energy. You got the Knight of Cups. So we'll take a few cards for the Knight of Cups. You got the Knight of Wands. And the Two of Swords. With the Hangman reversed, you got the Moon reversed, which is nice. Pisces, you came into your own reading. Okay, that's beautiful. That's Neptune energy. Your planet. One more card for the hair. 
or the hangman reversed and the moon reversed. No, they don't want to. Okay, so let's look at the seven of wands over here in the current energy. Okay, let's look at this together. So, definitely here there is uh, some type of energy of someone taking action. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Uh, no, I, uh, I do have that. Uh, I have the fire signs, uh, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, or Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It doesn't have to be this sign. But whatever it is here, there is some type of action taking place. Someone's coming towards you or you going towards someone. Uh, there's someone here wanting to show love. There's a lot of uh, passion here. Uh, and the Two of Swords energy talks about where um, your heart chakra needs to open. There is a decision. There's an ind indecision maybe between two people for some of you. Could be. If not, if there's some type of decision that has to be rendered in the current energy. With the, with the hangman reversed and the moon reversed, okay, this is about releasing the fears. Releasing the fears and you're, you're going to have a lot of unusual dreams, okay? Even from past lives are going to come through. You're going to have a lot of unusual dreams from your past lives. And uh, this is like Piscean energy here, okay? And with the seven of uh, wands, okay, here you come in with the queen of cups, okay? Now, this could be you in energy, the queen of swords, able to be logical about your business or about anything in your life. And also with the queen of cups energy, you're very loving, okay? Very nurturing, very motherly here. Uh, and someone here is, a, is emotionally available, whether this is you or vice versa. And I see that you're going to be overcoming something that's, uh, that you had a hard time with. Now let's look at the Hierophant in the immediate future. The Page of Swords, the Three of Pentacles reversed. Let's look at the King of Wands. I'm gonna show you the cards in a second, okay? And the five of swords. I thought you wanted to come out. Um, it feels like uh, you're uh, now. I don't know if this is about you, um, Pisces, or someone that you're dealing with here. But someone here, if this has to do with a marriage, or you're going through like. Or uh, if it just has to do with a marriage, there's like back and forth in it. If it's not about a marriage, it's about your, you learning your lessons. There's a situation here with the elephant. okay? The elephant talks about higher learning, higher wisdom, completion. And it's like learning your life lessons, okay? Maybe you're dealing with a Taurus energy. Uh, there's someone, or this is you, or whoever it is here. There's a situation that they're showing here that someone here is feeling defeated. And uh, they're having a hard time through their mind process uh, to figure things out. They're not able to see a possibility in a situation here. But what Spirit is saying is that someone here is definitely feeling uh, ghosted, left out, abandoned in a situation. Um, and Or there's some type of loss, okay? Uh, like maybe loss of money, but there's some type of loss here. And what Spirit is saying also, if okay, is that in, the, in this uh, situation here, there, there's someone here that doesn't have the strength, the courage, uh, or the self-confidence in themselves. There's also ego in this situation. I don't know what this is about. Okay, um, maybe you're dealing with a Leo. It's been a very, um, you, maybe you're dealing with a Leo because I do have the strength card. Something has been very difficult. There's been a lot of obstacles with the Ten of Wands energy, okay, in the immediate future. The Ten becomes a One. And so they're, ha they're, they're asking you to hold on. There's something about holding on here. Um, because Spirit is saying that with the Star card, Aquarian energy, is that it's about you having trust and faith that the universe and God is going to provide you this, okay? And uh, with the star card, it talks about your wishes coming true, okay, in the new age. Now, also what they're saying is with this five of swords energy is that, uh, again, it's about life lessons, higher learning, life lessons. The hierophant is reversed here or a marriage that maybe is not or a long-term relationship for some of you. Um, maybe there's like, a, you know, someone not having your, your highest good, 
Um, there could be lies or deceit, okay? Or this could be also thought patterns. Whatever the situation here, someone here is not taking a leap of faith, okay? Someone here is not moving forward. I don't know who this is for you. Someone here is holding back who they truly are. And with the Page of Pentacles, I do see an offer coming in. It's a, okay, it could be someone coming in to ask you for forgiveness, an apology, forgiveness. You don't have to forgive the person, but you can forgive the situation so you could free yourself from whatever this is because it's not good to hold on to anger and hurt and inside of you, okay? So uh, this could be an offer of love or an offer of uh, maybe a job. For us of you, there could be an apology here, okay? Now, uh, what I see is positive, but it all depends how you perceive it, okay, and how you're going to go about it. But when you see the hierophant and the star and the page of pentacles, it's positive. All right. Now, let's look at what is hidden from you. You got the death card, Scorpio energy. Why is the death card here for Pisces? You got the Knight of Swords reversed. The Eight of Cups reversed. And the Four of Wands. And the Wheel of Fortune. There's an ending and new beginning. Sometimes there's also a regeneration, re re resurrection of something that you thought it was over. Whatever this is for you. And it's all it's gonna become all brand new. You know, releasing anything that's karmic, right? And so whatever it is that you walked away from, whatever it is that you decide to walk away from or cut someone out or cut people out, uh, Spirit said that you're going to, till now, till September, you're going to overcome whatever it is that you're going to be walking away from. What they're showing me here is that there's a beautiful transformation. Maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. But there's a beautiful transformation, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is here twice for you. Okay, uh, in the recent past, and this is what's hidden from you. So the second chances, new opportunities, uh, uh, something that's destined and like, okay, happiness here. The four of wands, there could be a proposal for you. There could be a proposal and uh, or a happy event taking place in the home. It's a solid foundation here. All right. Now let's look at the lovers in the in possible future. You got the Six of Swords reversed, followed by the Four of Swords reversed. I see Justice and the Two of Cups. Beautiful. Maybe at this time, someone here is uh, finally uh, solely coming out of uh, some type of healing or time out, okay? But they're not able to move because of their circumstances right now, not being able to move or relocate. But there is a very strong at attraction here, or there's a there's a very there's something beautiful here of uh, two people coming in together. It could be a relationship for some of you. Um, it could be with a Libra, Gemini. I do have Scorpio. I have Taurus. I hear. Uh, what else do I have? I have Leo. I have Virgo, Aquarius. Up to now, I think that's what I have. And Pisces. Yeah. Whatever the situation is here is that uh, there's uh, something coming into balance for you. And for some of you, this could be in, from September to October of 2021. Um, you know, it could be anything for you. It could be a sibling, a, a daughter, a mother, father, or son, whatever. It could, be a, it could also be a relationship for you. Two people coming in together, a very strong magnetic attraction. And the, and with the Justice card, it's something is coming into your face. Something is in your favor here. And it's about the truth and nothing but the truth. Underneath the deck, you have the King of Cups. There you go. Two people that love each other. But they're still suffering. Someone here is still feeling loss and sadness. Okay? So this will be your first part of your reading. Give me a second here. Now we're going to go to the second half of your reading. Now, make sure you come back, Pisces, from this week to next week. So you have, because sometimes you can hear it once. You'll hear one thing. That, trust me, that's the truth. And then you'll come back the second time again, maybe a week later, 
and hear it again and you're going to hear different things plus i'm doing it for two weeks right now the second reading here is from uh september 30th to uh no sorry august 30th august 30th <laughs> to september 5th okay so you have two readings here just until i get back on track <laughs> okay so this is for pisces there I'm gonna take these ones Pisces. all right let's go check this out so this is from August 30th to September 5th Pisces now we're gonna look into your recent past Now we're going to look into your current energy. We're going to look into the immediate future. What is hidden from you? Okay, let's put these here. Just gonna take a sip of water. Cheers. <laughs> okay, second part of your reading. Overall energy, you got the emperor reversed. Okay, so maybe we're dealing with an Aries. This could be with business. This could be with a father figure or there's a lot of wisdom in this person, 100%. But someone here had to surrender. So there's some type of surrendering that's taking place. And Spirit is saying also with the overall energy of the Emperor reversed that uh, you need to set strong, stronger boundaries around you. Okay, uh, Pisces. In the recent past, you got the Page of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. So definitely that in the recent past till now, with the page of wands energy, there's something, there's, this is about divine timing, okay? So there's something that you're seeing, you're feeling, you're seeing the numerology, you're seeing the synchronicities, you're seeing everything that's coming in for you. And um, there's positive news around this, but uh, it's been difficult, okay? And with the 10 of wands, you've been going through a lot. Uh, it's been a, a, a very difficult in the recent past. You've been having a lot of obstacles in the situation. Um, it's you, you're very very tired but the 10 becomes a one you know why not because only because it's in divine timing with the page of wands and it could be something or it could be even someone that's passionate to your heart there will be an unexpected message coming in with the knight of swords that would it that what is it going to do well this message that's going to come in uh is going to release whatever it is that you've been holding on to for so long okay now in the current energy you have the ace of swords the king of cups and the Queen of Wands. Beautiful, beautiful energy here, okay, of uh, these cards. Beautiful energy. So you definitely have here someone that is emotionally available, that has a lot of wisdom with the King of Cups energy, that is emotionally available, okay, 
um, I feel that uh, this is someone here that is able to express themso themselves. With the Ace of Swords energy, the Divine is coming in to give you clarity, to remove the fog. It's about communication, having clarity, being in focus of what you truly want with the Ace of Swords. Uh, and with the Queen of Wands, it's like I visualize the Queen of Wands as the Phoenix rising from the ashes in the Tarot deck because um, she is very magical. Uh, he or she, whoever this is for you, could be a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. It doesn't have to be the sign. Um, this is someone here that is very outgoing, uh, very outspoken, very generous, very truthful, a very strong feminine energy here. Uh, is also someone that's very creative, very passionate. There's like a someone here that uh, had to go through many transformations. And there's something magical about this energy here. So someone that's very passionate. Okay, someone here that's very loving and a lot of communication in the immediate future. You do have here the Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Wands with the King of Swords. Beautiful. So I do have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It doesn't have to be the sign. The Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the King of uh, Swords. Well, very simple here. Someone is reevaluating everything. They're looking how far they've come. This can be about investments. This can be about relationship or anything in your life. With the four of wands, there is stability and a strong foundation in a home here or in the business, <clears throat> whatever it is here, or in a state, because uh, I hear a state for someone here out there. And it shows that there's going to be a happy event taking place, like maybe a marriage. And there is a proposal here. So there is some type of proposal. And with the king of swords, I see that um, there's someone here with the king of swords energy that is able to communicate, is able to find solutions very quickly, is someone that is able to use the, the heart and mind together. Uh, they may be aloof in energy, uh, but, they, but they are able to, uh, this is someone here that is able to communicate, okay? And like really, because the Queen of Swords, for example, she's more like, uh, uses logic, she's more discerned than the King of Swords. Okay, and she doesn't give second chances, but the King of Swords does. There's like something about the King of Swords well, where their heart and, heart and mind uh, becomes one and they're able to communicate. In what is hidden from you, you got the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune continues in this week here and the, for the, in this week here. So this talks about, again, second chances, okay, new opportunities, the wheel turning in your favor. This is about time of abundance and luck, something destined and faded. And so when something is destined and faded to come towards you, nothing and no one could stop it. You understand? Nothing. So you have Jupiter here. And with the Empress energy, okay, in the outcome, uh, this talks about new opportunities. It's about having that Midas touch. It could be about fertility, creativity. Uh, it could be about productivity. It's about wholeness. The Empress energy receives what she puts out there. So there's new opportunities at hand here for you. So now we're going to clarify the cards. So let's clarify the Emperor reversed. You got the Four of Swords, the Ace of Cups reversed, and the Two of Cups reversed. So something here could be a commitment that I failed in the air world energy, or there's maybe a timeout or a break between two people. Whatever it is here, someone is really taking time to heal their heart. They're really going within, okay, with the Ace of Cups, okay? They're really going within uh, self-love, self-care, and energy. And definitely there is someone here that's healing, that's releasing people out, out along the way. And it had to do with a connection in their life. So there was some type of, maybe you were dealing with an Aries, or, or this is, if it's not an Aries, someone here had to surrender to this, okay? Um, let's look at the recent past till now you got the page of wands the ten of wands and the knight of swords so let's take a card for the page of wands
You got the, the Queen of Pentacles reversed, followed by the Six of Cups reversed, followed by the Page of uh, Cups. Then let's look at the Ten. The Ten of Wands, we got the Star reversed, which is Aquarius energy. Judgment, the Five of Pentacles reversed and the Page of Swords. And let's look at this Knight of Swords. The Queen of Swords, the Ace of Swords reversed, and uh, the Strength reversed. So it's showing me about a bit about what you went through, uh, or like I said, this could be you or whoever you're dealing with, and what happened in the recent past. So, so maybe some of you lost money, lost a job, lost unemployment here, or there was someone here that was very unstable in a situation from your past, okay, Taurus, Virgo, or... Taurus, Virgo, or Lib uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy for some of you, uh, but there was definitely some type of unstableness, okay, with a situation of your past. But there is a new emotional experience that's taking place here with the Page of Cups and the Page of Wands. Okay, definitely someone here. This is a new emotional experience. It could be a friendship, it could be a relationship, whatever it is. And it's in divine timing. So it's in time right now. And it's very passionate to your heart. There's emotions involved. And again, there's positive news about this situation. You got already three of the pages on the on, uh, over here. You got already three of the pages, and I'm going to show you. In the Ten of Wands, where the Ten becomes a one, there was some type of difficulty. Maybe some of you felt left out, felt abandoned. Um, you felt uh, ghosted, or you, there was some type of loss of money. And with the Five of Cups, you came full circle. Okay, there was an obstacles a lot. You came full circle with the five of pentacles and there's some type of gain. Um, a lot of you lost faith and hope uh, in God or in the universe in delivering what it is that your dreams was because there was a lot of uh, difficult moments and obstacles in the recent past. But there was some type of judgment that took place. And with the page of swords energy, again, it's about a new way of thinking, a new way of communicating, uh, creative ideas taking place so there's a new it's a new start here there's it feels like a new start especially with three pages on the ground the pages are all about new beginnings even if it's at the beginning of like something very small here okay with the knight of swords energy that's coming in there's going to be unexpected message here i do have the queen of swords upright the ace of swords reversed and the strength reversed uh, so yes, there will be an, an unexpected message coming in, maybe from a Leo, if not a Libra, Aquarius, a Gemini, I don't know, it could be any sign, okay, uh, but someone here, they're coming in very discerned, okay, they're coming in to give you a message, there's going to be communication, but this person is thinking logically about a situation, um, and I see here that if you're dealing with someone else here, someone here doesn't have the courage, the strength, or the self-confidence in speaking up, okay? So something something about speaking up here. Someone doesn't have the courage or the strength, okay? In a situation where maybe there was a breakup or someone cut out somebody from the past. So the cards are getting stuck to me. Okay, let's look at the current energy. The current energy, you have the King of Cups. Okay, so you got the Ten of Wands reversed and you got the Four of Wands. Let's look at the Ace of Swords. Now, King of Wands reversed here. The Queen of Cups reversed. Hmm. The Three of Swords reversed. The Seven of Pentacles reversed. The Two of Pentacles reversed. And the Lovers. Okay, <laughs> this feels like a Twin Flame reading. <laughs> It's a twin soul mate reading. These are two twins, I feel. This part of this reading is for twins. That um, you you met, things happened between you. There's been a timeout for a long time. And uh, one of them is ready and one of them is still resistant. And whatever the case, it's not for everybody, but th there is a twin soul reading here. So definitely in the current energy, there's uh, I see that... Uh, Karmically, uh, Spirit saying that you released a lot karmically from the past, okay? Uh, what they're showing me is that there's someone showing up here. This could be you, Pisces, in energy. doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man in the King of Cups energy, okay? Uh, or there's someone around you. And there is some type of happy event that's taking place in your home. 
All right, maybe the next four days, four weeks, four months from now. This could be a proposal, but there's a strong foundation here. When I looked at the Ace of Swords, because you do have the Ace of Swords reversed here in uh, the recent past, okay? So there was some type of no communication cut out or someone not able to speak up. There, it's coming up as someone here is coming to speak up, okay? So definitely uh, there is communication here. And there's been, you know, a lot of heartbreak with this person, okay? There's been heartbreak, okay but they healed the healing is done okay uh, they're coming out of it um you know here with the two of pentacles reversed it shows that one is focusing on one thing and something got dropped here uh with the queen of cups is showing that someone is still not emotionally available at this time not able to express themselves uh, with the king of wands reversed it shows that someone here is humbling themselves there's no ego in this energy. And and uh, they already reevaluated everything. But with the lover's energy, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Or there could be a lover, a friend, a soulmate energy. But there's definitely a, a beautiful connection here. Okay? And a decision has to be rendered. It's important that the decision has to be rendered. Now, let's look at the Queen of Wands. You got the Six of Pentacles. Uh, so finally, something is coming into balance here. As much as you give, you are receiving here with the Queen of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, you got the Knight of Wands, the Two of Wands reversed, and the Nine of Wands reversed. So definitely here, there was someone here uh, in the past again, because they're showing me the past. They keep going back and forth. I guess they want to explain for those of you that need explaining on a situation here where uh there was uh, there was something that was dropped here okay with the two of wands again someone here was determined making plans okay uh and um but there something is not holding them back any longer it's like something shifted for someone here with the two of wands reversed because definitely here with the queen of wands the six of pentacles and the knight of wands there's some type of action that's being taken place here so definitely that there's something coming into balance whether this is work love whatever it is for you now let's look at the immediate future let's look at the seven of pentacles so someone is reevaluating everything right now you know uh, a lot of people put uh, a lot of you put the past behind you pisces especially with uh, people places interferences uh uh, whatever that did not make you feel comfortable. Uh, I feel a lot of you are, um, you know, um, put the past behind you in a situation here. There was a decision rendered, okay? So some of you will be at crossroads, but I will tell you right now, uh, you will make a decision faster than you think with the two of swords reversed. Uh, because over here, I see that there's no collaboration in a situation. Uh, this could be in a workplace, could be in a family situation, could be in a relationship. It, there's not a strong foundation here in this situation. Uh, whatever this has to do, it has to do with your past that you're leave, letting go of. And uh, something is still unjust, okay? Something is not coming into balance here for some of you, Libra energy. Um, there could be still lies or deceit and uh, not someone coming in towards you. So if there's two people here uh, and one person is not showing up whatsoever, uh, it, it, it clearly shows that uh, it clearly shows that you will have you will uh, make a decision. You got the hangman reversed and the five of swords. Why is the five of swords here? Definitely, there's someone around you that there is some type of lie or deceit, or they they don't have your back. There's definitely something you're gonna see it though. They're gonna show you. They will show you because there's been a lot of disappointments with this person. Um, I also have Taurus energy opportunity. You have wish fulfillments. You have opportunities here that are presented to you. And uh, there is wish fulfillments, but some of you are not able to move or go through this process. It's been very difficult. You've been a lot in your mind about it. Um, and there's been a lot of disappointments in this. Okay. So again, uh, there will be a, with the four of wands energy, uh, they're showing me with the six of wands a 10 a new beginning taking place in the home there's a proposal here or this could be also a strong foundation in business or in your projects or whatever it is that you're working on uh but it could also be a proposal okay like i said something peaceful and being recognized rewarded here it shows uh beautiful things are taking place for you uh pisces okay and um 
there will, you are going through a, a spiritual awakening at this time. Uh, you surrendered to something that was stagnant and you're going to see clarity on everything. And you know what you're going to see clarity on? The people that are not there for you. That's simple. Okay. And uh, so now let's look at the King of Swords. You got the Eight of Cups, the Four of Cups reversed, the Five of Wands reversed, and the Page of the page, and the Fool. There will be new beginnings for you. There's something that maybe you're going to be walking away from. From what uh, you're accepting a lot of the things that took place, the rejection, the hurt. Um, or the patterns that you're not accepting anymore. You ro rose above all the fighting, the drama, uh, the insecurities, you're the ego, and a lot of you are gonna be walking away uh, because with the King of Swords and the page, uh, with the full card, it shows that there's gonna be solutions to the situation here. You're gonna see something very clearly with the King of Swords, and there will, you are gonna be taking a leap of faith in a new direction, as I feel for some of you. Now, let's look at what's hidden from you. You got the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune is here for you. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Capricorn Pisces. Also here I have, uh, or this is about letting go of unhealthy relationships, toxic people, could be patterns. Uh, thought patterns and how you do things this could be also addictions in your life but there is a breakthrough where if it's not with a capricorn there's a breakthrough also with saturn energy okay there's something here that in the past you felt defeated if it came to money or some type of project or some type of stability okay energy and uh, you need to follow your intuition okay you are a high priest here or high priestess you need to follow your intuition because, uh, like I said, with the Wheel of Fortune, there's beautiful things that are going to be taking place for you. And now let's look at the Empress in the outcome. So here it shows about new opportunities. This is Venus. You have the Seven of Cups. So even though the Wheel of Fortune is here for a lot of you, okay, there's a lot of confusion in the situation here. You're dreaming big, and it's okay to dream big. It's okay to have all your dreams come true. Uh, but there's confusion in what you really want. You need to know what you want, Pisces, because there is new opportunities that are coming in for you. It's about you having that Midas touch. Look, the cards don't lie. You got the Page of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune again in your reading, Chariot, Cancer, Sagittarius, and the Ten of Cups in divine timing. Something is coming for you. Positive news. You're feeling it. Something passionate. You're moving away with the Chariot away, taking control, and you're moving forward. Okay, it's about you taking control and moving forward, taking the reins of your life and moving forward in a positive manner. This is about ambition and willpower and you have the strength to do it and you have the power with no ego intended here. With the Wheel of Fortune again showing up in your reading twice or three times, there's something destined coming towards you. The wheel is turning in your favor. Again, there's always free will, but it is here for you. With the Ten of Cups, because this could be a soulmate relationship, this could be uh, a body soulmate that's coming in for you uh, or has come in for you already, okay? Or will be coming in for you. Um, it also talks about like feeling contented and happy. Let's say if you're not in a relationship, this could be about you feeling happy and contented in your family life, in your community, with your soul tribe family or with friends or family. But it's very positive here, okay? With the Empress energy, okay? Now, underneath the deck, I have... Of course, the tower, Pluto, change is coming, unexpected change. But what I have next to it is positivity with the page of pentacles, okay? The divine is coming in to clear everything, Pisces, so you can receive what is yours. This is going to be an offer or an apology for some of you or a start of something with stability here, all right? And like I see, you're not going to feel stuck any longer or overanalyze anything. 
whatever the situation is. Well, I hope that you enjoyed your reading, my beautiful Pisces. Remember, this is a two-part reading, August 23rd to the 29th and August 30th to September 5th. And so uh, next week we'll be back with the regular uh, schedule. So uh, again, um, don't forget to comment, like, and share. Know that I have your back and I love you all. And all this shall pass and everything will be okay. I, I promise you that. And uh, remember, we are one. Please take care. Bye-bye.